What up, guys? Your boy Quake and Tupac has come back from the dead to take shots at his enemies. Nah, man, I'm just messing around with your conspiracy theories because I know you guys are going to go crazy over this. But there was some new writing that came from Tupac back when he was alive and the year that he died. And this was from a really, really close friend. Apparently, an original liner note from Tupac's 1996 project, the Don Caluminati, the Seven Day Theory, the album that was released weeks after his death has finally seen the light of day. The reason why we are finally seeing these liner notes after all these years is because a close friend of Tupac had it and he decided to put it up for auction. It is being auctioned on April 11th and the bidding is starting at $30,000. And I know damn well it's gonna sell for way more than that. I'm expecting this thing to go for 200,000, 250,000, whatever the price may be. It's definitely going to sell a lot because this letter has a lot of interesting things said in it and it seems like Tupac knew that he was going to die and that he calls out everybody that's ever been against him. And these liner notes were supposed to be the actual album credits for that album that was released after his death but the full version did not come out only the end part where he talks about worldwide, nationwide, citywide you know, exit Tupac, enter Machiavelli. So this is the full album credits that was supposed to be there. And this shit is so damn funny. He's going at everybody and he gives not a single fuck. The liner note starts out like this. Machiavelli, Columinati, the seven day theory credits. I dedicate this to Jack, the snitch agent for ordering the hit. To Tut for shooting me. To Puffy, Big, Stretch, Lil Sean, Jimmy Henchman, and whoever else Remain silent while quietly conspiring my downfall. I thank you. I thank Faith for the greatest weapon ever, her low self-esteem and beat-up pussy. Thanks to Wendy Williams for being a fat bitch. Thanks to Mob Deep for opening your mouth and letting me squash your no record selling asses to dust. To Dr. Dre for being a closet homo. To Nas for not taking my advice and minding his business. To De La Soul for being mad at me for living well why they live like fat, washed up bums. To Donnie Simpson and all the comedians who laughed when I bled. To Jay Z, to King Sun, Dookie Lock, whatever, Lil Kim, or fat ass, weave wearing, biggie short, stubby dick sucking Kim for being nobodies. Now it's time to see who's watching too many movies and who's ready to get their cash on for real. Wartime, worldwide, nation, citywide, real guys do real things. Exit Tupac, enter Machiavelli. Wow, man, Tupac, even when he's gone after all this time, still manages to keep things real and speak his mind. Now, if you're a Tupac fan, you know why he's going at all these people. He's always had issues with a lot of these people mentioned. A lot of people are saying maybe he did this as a joke. He didn't really mean it. And a lot are saying he was very serious and he just couldn't let this letter get out until maybe he passed or something happened years, years later down the road. And obviously, it's been over 20 years now, so this letter doesn't make a difference in today's time. But I can see why they didn't want this letter coming out when he did write this. I mean, he's blaming King Tut for getting shot at Quad Studios in New York. He's blaming a lot of people for his downfall. Puffy, Big, Stretch, Lil Sean, Jimmy Henchman, which we've known he's always had issues with. And when I saw this shit on Twitter and I saw him making fun of Wendy Williams' fat ass... Man, it's funny as fuck because I want to see her reaction when she reads this shit because she gossips a lot and talks shit about a lot of people. So I'm glad that somehow Pac managed to mention her in here and just called her out for being a fat bitch. But yeah, with that being said, let me know what you guys think in the comments below, man. What do you guys think about these liner notes? Why didn't they land on the official album? Was it too early? Was it too offensive? Was he mentioning too many names? And I'm glad this came out because this is definitely something that's going to help my Tupac versus Biggie video who really won whenever I work on that. That's not going to happen for a while, but I'll definitely be working on that because I know a lot of you guys requested it and I know I'm going to deliver it. I just want to deliver it perfectly and at the right time. So yeah, leave a comment below. If you want to support this channel further, you can do so at patreon.com backslash diverse mentality. For just a dollar a month or more, you can help support me. A link is in the description below. Like, comment, share, and definitely, definitely subscribe. I do videos like this daily on hip-hop news and much, much more. So definitely subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at QuakeGW. Like us on Facebook, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.